My name is uh, Engineer Dembo Aloch. I'm a civil engineer, a registered consultant. I practice arbitration, adjudication, and mediation. I also represent parties in um, matters of ADR. I don't represent parties in law, in court. Now, because you represent parties, and people have this notion and preconception that coming in as a party representative, you're most likely a lawyer with a legal background. Now, with your civil engineering background, what has your experience been navigating in this space that is infiltrated by more lawyers than any other profession? Well, um, my journey in arbitration started somewhere in 2012. In the course of time, I felt uh, my inadequacy. And you did? Yes, I felt a little bit inadequate, especially doing arbitration alone. And I wanted to expand my knowledge, mm. capacity building and further training. I did my master's in construction law from Leeds uh, University. That one has enabled me to build some more confidence and also just to understand the background of law and especially in the construction industry. What advice would you give to those who are in a non-legal academic background and now seeking to come in? What can they do now that you have had the experience of the past? You have been in very many conferences where they're discussing the future of arbitration and ADR. What are your thoughts? Specifically to those that are not in the legal world, disputes are inevitable in a society where human beings interact. And I like my construction industry because it involves a number of disciplines, the different experience, competing interests, and uh, different objectives uh, people seek to achieve uh, in the process. What I'll tell people that are not in the legal practice, let's look at disputes as opportunity for us to interact and opportunity for us to create a peaceful environment for a coexistence of human beings. Especially now in the construction industry, you find that Disputes is one of the greatest hindrance for economic development. I say so because they stop projects, they stall projects, they escalate the cost of projects, they compromise the quality of projects, and at the end of the day, the beneficiaries of the projects actually doesn't get to benefit from what the project was intended to. So the risk is much larger if we don't have construction practitioners actually having knowledge of how to re you know, resolve disputes and get around it. That's very true because when I speak to my fellow engineers, what I always tell them is that they are the initiators of the project. They are the, the designers of the project. They are the implementers. They monitor and evaluate. At the end of the day, it is them who close the project. Why is it that when uh, they encounter disputes in the course of project, they distance themselves from the mess that they have created? Yeah. So uh, to that extent, I always say the best people actually to be the best dispute resolvers are uh, practitioners in the built industry. Involved from the, from the very beginning. From the initiation to closure. I agree with you. Who best knows about this project rather than the person who initiated it and the person who intends to, to close it? Uh, practitioners in the building industry are the best people to be in the dispute resolution table. I am convinced. I am convinced. And for that reason, I am going to open a construction book. They are coming to take our jobs. I'll, 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 I'll be the forwarder or probably I'll write the executive summary. Uh, please ensure I read it before you get it up. Thank you so much, engineer. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.